might be an upcoming musician or a bathroom singer, but there's one thing none of us can do without, and that's the sound of sound. This week, we take a tour at one of India's leading sound and audio institutes, SAE, and place our ears next to some fascinating technology. Creating the perfect sound is a lot of hard work. You've got to worry about notes, pitch, octaves and a whole world of audio literature but there's always cutting edge technology behind the bass and trebles. With you, because I am falling in love with you, my love. One of those institutes that has a dedicated course on audio engineering is the School of Audio Engineering, SAE. Its studio at Tinagar gives students the practical knowledge on analog and digital equipments along with high-end software. From studio recording to audio post-production, it's all done here. Uh, audio engineering is not just knowing a musical instrument or knowing a musical notation, but it's more than that. It's uh, knowing sound, how sound behaves. And if you have an ear for sound, if you have passion towards sound, then audio engineering surely is a field to be in. And audio engineering doesn't mean just audio production, but also has various specialization as post-production, sound design, broadcast, and many others. So if any student is willing to take up sound engineering, then it's a very challenging and upcoming field for the future. There are three basic stages of audio production. The actual recording, audio mixing, and then the final mastering. soundproof room is used to record the vocal and the background instruments. Each instrument along with the mic for the vocal is treated as a separate track with separate input lines on the audio console. Even sounds of the tappu can be recorded separately for additional effects depending on the composer's needs. Audio mixing is one of the most challenging stages. You need to string the different tracks together and mix it in such a way that one doesn't overpower the other. There are two kinds of consoles for audio mixing, analog and digital. The analog console can handle about 24 individual tracks. There are switches for each of it to condition the respective audio signal. You can adjust the audio levels or even equalize it to control the tonal quality. For additional effects like reverberation or echo, you can send the signal or the track to a separate processor. A digital console, however, has an inbuilt processor. So in the case of a, a digital console, um, the main um, thing is that like you can um, save all your settings. You, know, you can, um, whatever you have done when you're doing a mix, whatever you have done on that day, you can store it and uh, say if you can't finish it in that particular day, the next day you can just come and you can just recall the, the settings, whatever you have done, and then you can exactly start from where you left. And uh, one more thing is uh, like there is no signal loss in digital when you are uh, sending the signal. There is no signal degradation and uh, you have uh, uh, no, motorized faders, you can do automation, you don't have to do everything real time. You can record these automation and when you play back whatever you have done, It'll, uh, it'll happen, so you have lots of options you know, when you compare with the analog. But the disadvantage in a digital console is that it has limited resolution. For instance, a classical symphony can acoustically produce large sounds, but this can be closely reproduced only by an analog console. The last stage again plays a crucial role. The final output will sound different on a tape, a CD or an iPod. An audio engineer must be able to identify a standardized level and format to suit all kinds of media.
but you don't have to always work with these equipments. There are different kinds of multimedia softwares for audio engineering applications that are making a foray into the industry. Software, what it did is software has made you, your production values go cheaper. You did not really need to hire or build up studios to bring out productions. Like your home uh, studios could bring out uh, music albums. You could produce visuals which are cheaper by using smaller setup of cameras and you know a smaller set of uh, properties. So this is what audio did to audio visual as a base. So the career choices today you have in audio is vast. You, you have audio engineers who work with television stations, radio stations, films. You have audio engineers who work with value-added services. You have audio engineers who work with digital signal processing uh, companies like Texas Instruments, which does DSP chips for advent of music. You have, so uh, I'm sorry, you have uh, audio engineers who work with software companies who produce software for music. So these are things which have widened because of the reach of technology. A software like Pro Tools LE is most commonly used in the industry today. It has many tools to distinguish the different sounds of instruments. For instance, if you choose drums, there are options like cymbal, congo, etc. The sound of each can be adjusted to suit either the left or the right ear. You can even filter the ambient noise or balance the sound of the accompaniments. to transpose a sample audio from one pitch to another, Logic Pro 7 does that for you. The transpose option changes the pitch from a C3 to a C7 according to Western music. Even the tempo of the different beat samples adjusts itself according to the tempo of the main audio. From techno sound to a simple scratch beat, technology plays a huge role in creating the sound of music. We still have some gaming action in store for you on the other side of this short break. Play it on the PS3 or the Xbox, Modern Warfare 2.